Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can still upgrade from Windows 7 or 8.1 to Windows 10 for free. By free here, I mean without the need to buy any licenses or product keys from Microsoft or some other third-party resellers. However, it is crucial that you follow the steps in this video accordingly so as to avoid ending up with an unlicensed Windows 10. And without any further ado, let's get to the process. So before you go ahead with the upgrade, you want to make sure that your PC meets the minimum system's requirements for running Windows 10. Microsoft recommends a 1GHz or faster processor, a 1GB of RAM for 32-bit OS and 2GB for 64-bit, and a hard disk space of 16GB for 32-bit OS and 20GB for 64-bit OS. Now you are likely good to go on the graphics card and display requirements because that hasn't really changed from the previous edition of Windows. However, for the processor, RAM and hard disk space, I would recommend that you double up on these requirements for effective running of Windows 10. So at least a 1.7 GHz processor, a 2 GB of RAM for 32-bit operating system and 4 GB for 64 bits. And of course, 20 GB hard disk space will be enough for 32-bit operating system and about 30 GB for 64-bit operating system. With that out of the way, the next thing is to check that you have a licensed Windows 7 or 8.1. To do that, simply go to your computer folder and click on System Properties. Then scroll down to where it says Windows Activation. Now, if for some reason it still says Activate Windows Now with certain number of days to activate, then you won't be getting an activated Windows 10 at the end of the process. Here you should ensure it says Windows is activated and that you can see this genuine Microsoft icon on the right end of the screen. Now this next step is simple yet very important and that is to ensure your laptop is connected to the internet at least once after you installed your Windows 7 or 8.1. This will enable Microsoft servers to acknowledge the activation of your Windows 7 or 8.1 and also to store your license. That way when you upgrade to Windows 10 then they are able to transfer your license to your Windows 10. And if you are concerned about the edition of Windows 10 you will be getting after the upgrade here is a chart showing the edition of Windows 10 you will get depending on what edition of Windows 7 or 8.1 you have currently running on your PC. The good news is that every edition of Windows 7 or 8.1 has at least one edition of Windows 10 you can upgrade to for free. So now that we have all that in place, let's go ahead with the upgrade. So open your browser and search Windows 10 Installation Media Microsoft. Then click on the first link from Microsoft. I will also add a link to the download page in the description section below. Now on this page, click on download tool now. Then launch the media creation tool by double clicking. Hit yes here and wait for the Windows 10 setup tool to load. Now, if you're curious about the duration of the upgrade, I would say anywhere between 40 minutes and one and a half hours. This depends quite a lot on the number of factors, such as the internet speed, your system specifications in terms of RAM and processor, and of course, the addition of Windows 10 you're upgrading to. So here you have the license terms. So click accept to proceed. On this next window, it asks whether you want to upgrade your PC now or you want to create an installation media. Here we will leave the option as upgrade this PC now and hit next to proceed. Then it starts downloading your Windows 10 installation files. Now the Windows 10 installation file is about 6.3 GB. So it's advisable to download over a fast Wi-Fi connection in order to quicken the process. For the purpose of this video, I'll be fast forwarding the rest of the processes and showing only key stages where you need to make some input.
Now here it asks what you want to keep after the upgrade. The default option here is to keep personal files and applications. So with this, you won't be losing your data at the end of the upgrade. However, if for some reasons you wish to delete all files and applications, then click on choose what to keep. And there you will find the options of either keeping your personal files only or keeping nothing. So here I will leave it as keep personal files and apps and hit next. Now Windows 10 is ready to install, so I will hit install here to begin the process. And from here, you just need to wait until you see the Welcome to Windows 10 page. During this process, your PC will restart several times, so do ensure you have your power adapter connected to your laptop during the entire process because it might take a while and you won't be able to check how much power you have left in your battery. So here I have the Welcome to Windows 10 page. Now I will hit Next and then choose the privacy settings that suits my needs. I'm just going to turn off Ads and hit Accept. Then use Cortana, Next, and then wait for the Windows 10 desktop. So now I'm going to go ahead to verify that I have a licensed Windows 10. So I go to my computer, this PC, computer, and then system properties. Then scroll down to where it says change product key or upgrade your edition of Windows and click on it. Then on the next window that pops up, you should see the activation status of your Windows 10. Here I have Windows 10 Home Edition and under the activation it says Windows is activated with a digital license. So we have successfully upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free. The same process also goes for Windows 8.1. And if you have any questions regarding the procedures in this video, please post in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.